conscience, Aaron. I've, you know, the reason I didn't support Trump the last time is I was afraid that he would be a divider and not a unifier. And our best leaders historically have been unifiers, uh, Republicans and Democrats. But unfortunately, as I've watched him over the last three and a half years now, he's continued to do that. And I don't think the country does well when we're divided. And so I had to search my conscience. When the Democrats asked me to speak, I had to think about it. And I believe we need a new direction. We just can't keep going the way that we're going because I know historically, you know, I served in the Congress, I was governor. What I've known is that when people work together, remarkable and good things can happen. But when we constantly are divided, when we can't work together, you know, we can see what's happening when we look at Washington even today. So it was necessary to do this. And, uh, and I, I felt it's the right thing to do. And I would encourage other Republicans to, to know that it's okay to take off a partisan hat. Take off your partisan hat and vote on the basis of what your conscience tells you about the future of our country, not just for yourself, but for your kids as well. First of all, I'm a conservative, which is the interesting thing. And why would I say that? Well, I was the chairman of the budget committee when we balanced the budget in Washington. We ran surpluses for a number of years and surpluses. And, uh, and over here in Ohio, we fixed the state and cut taxes and grew almost a half a million jobs and left almost three billion in our rainy day fund for the governor we have now. Uh, so I'm conservative and people can say, oh, well, he's really not. Y yes, I have been. But I believe that Biden can bring us together. I'm going to disagree with Joe on things. And they expected that when, I, when they asked me to do this. I said, yeah, there's things I'm going to disagree with Biden on. There's things I'm concerned about. But at the end of the day, I think he's a man of faith. I think he's a man, uh, look, his history has been an ability to bring people together. That's the way it was when I was in Congress, when we balanced the budget, when we, we were able to do welfare reform. And I think he can, he can restore civility. And I don't think he'll go hard left. I think he's a pretty tough guy. And so I'm comfortable uh, with the fact that, that, that he would be our leader. And uh, I expect he'll have Republicans that will be part of anything he does going forward. That's the way his, that's his nature. That's been his history. And he's a man of deep faith. And you know, a man that has suffered some tremendous grief that has shaped his character. All some of the things I will talk about uh, in my speech. I think I have a right to define what it means to be a conservative and that means uh, a government when necessary, uh, not op opposed to it, that what the conservative movement ought to be is opportunity for everyone. The Republican Party ought to be a party that has a positive message of lifting everyone. But you know, Aaron, look, leaders walk a lonely road. And if you're not prepared to walk a lonely road and do the things that your conscience tells you to do, then how do you think about yourself when you look in the mirror? I mean, I'm comfortable with the decisions I make. Of course there's blowback. You know, Republicans are critical. Some are, are praising me. Democrats are debating themselves. Should he be able to do this? But this is not an unusual place for me to be. I've been a reformer almost all of my life. I've been very independent. And I'm a Republican, but the Republican Party has always been my vehicle, but never my master. You have to do what you think is right in your heart, and I'm comfortable here. Clued into a lot of, uh, of uh, people of faith, a number of them, who are very happy that I'm making this decision. And I can give you names. I don't want to get it, say it on the air, but I can give you names of them if we have to come back and do that. And the fact is, is that uh, you know, the, the faith is a is a matter of of your personal relationship. And so I don't know why that's been said about Joe. Uh, I think he is a man of faith. Uh, I don't sit down and talk about all of his religion with him, uh, but I'm comfortable with him. And like I say, I consider myself to be a man of faith, a flawed man of faith for sure, but aren't we all? Uh, so I don't think anybody can speak for the entire faith community and try to, try to say that this person's good and that person isn't. Uh, a lot of people scratch their heads about why some of these very conservative evangelicals support Trump it seems not to be consistent with the things that they believe in as, as promoted in the Old and New Testament.